Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Welcome again to Warilla Bowls and Recreation Club for the fourth test in this New South Wales versus Victoria Test Series. Uh, I am Benny Two Shoes, or Ben Crixtolitis, and I'm the only one here with you at the moment. Everyone else is eating lunch or getting around. Andrew's actually next to me eating his lunch, running the cameras for me, so thanks very much for that. And we're kicking off now with the uh, most important game at the moment, which is between Lee Schreiner and Matty Bowers, Peter Taylor and, and Daniel Hill against the might of... Uh, excuse me. Yes, yeah, so I've got Matty Flapper, Bet Ma, uh, Marnie, James Pierce, and Tyson Cromey. Uh, now, I'm very familiar with Matty Flapper, and most of the New South Wales team here was a few of the Victorian guys I'm really interested in watching. And obviously we know Lee Schreiner. We spoke, speak about him and, and uh, have seen him a fair bit. Now, we've gone back outside. It is cloudy and overcast and a little, little bit gross. But... Uh, it's not actually raining, which is great. There's a few parties happening around us, people everywhere. And it should be an excellent afternoon of bowls and an excellent game. It's quite nice here, actually, out, out in the... Uh, I don't know, what's this place called? There's a restaurant behind me that I can't remember the name of it, Rural Bowls and Recreation Club. Sorry? Lagoon Street. Lagoon Street, it's called, and it's a big open outdoor area. There's a kids' playground behind us, restaurant, burger bar, pizzas. And we've got prime position under the heaters, because it is fairly chilly. Uh, st looking straight over this green, and it's a magnificent facility here at Wurrula, and I can't recommend you coming down here enough. UBC's on this week. If you've got nothing, not much else going on on your Saturday, then this is the place to be. So, sorry, YouTube watchers, I'm going to do that all again. Because <laughs> we've just gone live on Facebook finally. Facebook uh, had a little bit of delay in letting us in for some reason, but that's all fixed now. So, welcome, Facebook viewers, to Warilla uh, Bowls and Recreation Club once again for this fourth test. We're here watching uh, the Victorians of Matt Flapper, Brett Marnie, James Pierce, and Tyson Cromie against the Victorians. Uh, against New South Wales team of Lee Schreiner, Matty Bouse, Peter Taylor and Daniel Hill. It should be a ripper of a game. We've just finished a, uh, an extraordinary, extraordinarily close game or a set of games tests in, in inside. We've come back outside now. UBC need to do their uh, roll-ups and their warm-ups and get all their equipment ready. It's not raining. There's no reason we can't be out here. And this green's looking fantastic. So if you're in the area... Captain uh, Newby just on the uh, YouTube channel there. Welcome back, mate, from uh, from Jersey, if I remember correctly. But uh, this place here where we are, the, at the Lagoon um, Restaurant, just behind us, there's a big open area, kids' playground, and we're in the prime position here overlooking the green for this game. Yeah, a really tight head here. I'm, this is the first end. Oh, you're welcome, Russell. It's uh, sorry, Russell, just saying uh, on YouTube, saying I'm trying to learn. I'm very glad you're in a place where you're going to learn about this game at a high level. I can tell you, this is the the essentially the best amongst the best players in the world you're seeing right now, and shortly. Which the other thing you should try to find, Russell, is a thing called UBC. I'm not going to publicise them necessarily, but uh, it's a different kind of game again. But this is beautiful out here on this, this green. Keep an eye on the scores. I'll give you score updates as I can uh, for all of them. Anthony Flapper just throwing the mat. I'm assuming he's not real happy with that first end. Lee Schreiner's got a shot down. He's just coming down his forehand now, running through, looking for the gap. 
I'm not sure whose balls are whose over there at the moment. Oh, he's, oh, he's taken Jack. Round of applause from his teammates. So one to Victoria, that was. So I'll just update the scores. They should rotate around on your screen as we get there. Uh, so in the other tests going on here at the moment, Aaron Wilson, Aaron Tees, Corey Wedlock and Maddie Miles. Uh, up against Dylan Fisher, Dean O'Neill, Dane McKinnon and Brennan Gallagher. That's the rink next door. And the rink after that, Ben Twist, Carl Healy, Ray Pearce and Mason Lewis are up against Anthony Flapper, Brad Orr, Brad Holland and John McCarran. Uh, look, it was close last last test. The Vicks will be fired up. They're a pretty uh, fiery team at, at the... Uh, Worst of times, this is just going to get them more and more keen, I think, for a victory. Tyson's just dropped that uh, second bowl a little bit short. Yeah, Tyson Crane with the, the bright yellow bowls. I'm just catching on as to who's got what at the moment. There's uh, yeah, Daniel Hill with the... Uh, he's got blue and white. They look like arrows, actually. They don't look like the standard hence like duos. I'm hoping to be called out there if I'm wrong. James Pierce here from Deer Park, where uh, our mate Chris Green's going soon. It's a uh, sat around and had a chat with him last night. He's not a bad man for a Victorian. <laughs> he's a <laughs> well, he's not a Collingwood supporter anyway. Paul Wadley watching from Armadale, New South Wales. Joyce Ebeck from Port Macquarie again. Uh, Sarah Roger did sit Victoria win. No, I think uh, New South Wales won the last game. I didn't actually get to see the uh, by three shots, was it? No, it's three nil. <laughs> three nil, three nil on the scoreboard. Three nil, three nil. Very happy. Uh, the Blues have won the opening three tests in both the men's and women's series. <laughs> uh, it was did come down to the wire. Both uh, had a chance to come back, but the Blues prevailed. Well pointed. So Matty Watts from Aberswith again. Excellent. And Brad Griffiths asking, hey, how come they're inside and then outside and so on? Well, rain. Literally rain. So we're meant to be outside for, for all of these games. We're inside for last night's game because the uh, lights here aren't sufficient to light the green. There, there are lights and good for training, but no good for uh, for an actual game itself. There are, there's even restrictions within the... Um, within the rules of the game to tell you what ambience we meant to have and we didn't have it. So we had uh so we went inside last night, then we were meant to be outside again this morning. We had to quickly run back inside and uh and set up all our kit in there and now we're back to normal I guess. And outside on this fantastic green at Rural Bowls and Recreation Club. So the uh the third test result, New South Wales fifty eight, Victoria forty eight, Lee Schrader twenty two, Anthony Flapper eleven. Uh, Aaron T, Aaron Wilson 19, Matty Flapper 15, and Ben Twist 17, Dylan Fisher 22. <coughs> In the third test, uh, New South Wales women, <coughs> excuse me, 
64. Defeated Victoria Women, 60. Uh, Dawn Heyman, 18. Kylie Whitehead, 18. Ellen Ryan, 24. Lisa Phillips, 12. And Tash Vanaldic, 22. Cassandra Millerick, 30. And a rather extraordinary game. Wow. So Matty Flapper, with his customary uh, aggression at this point, slams the jack and the bowl back into the ditch. Sand flew up everywhere, which green keepers love. And... Uh, now sitting pretty much on Jack in the ditch. Absolutely remarkable shot there by Matty Flapper. That will be the second shot by ease. It could be as many as uh, five here. Yeah. So Lee Schreiner, he'll, he'll just look to draw past the two-metre mark, cut it back to one or two. Yeah, he's in rescue mode at the moment. Yeah, nicely down. That'll be the second. Well bowled. So one to Victoria on our streaming rink. Another one. So I'm going to grab my uh, I'm going to grab my uh, super zoom camera and look down the field a little bit and see if I can see. No, I'm not. There's people everywhere. No matter, no zoom's going to see through that lot. So I'll just stick here for a bit. And once they change ends, I'll uh, update the scores on all of the other rinks. Where's the ladies' big board at the moment? I can't see that either. Three uh, it's straight, it's straight across from me, yep. Now, yeah, mate Pam over there diligently filling that one, uh, keeping that one up to date again. Without putting the ends up. <laughs> they've, done well to, <laughs> uh, they've done well to score three on the trial ends. Bless them. Wouldn't it be great to have the uh, scoreboards from Charlestown that uh, d yeah, don't need a manager to add up the boards anyway? All linked in. Good opener from Tyson Cromie. Got the second one on after putting his first behind. That's a pretty fair reply from Daniel Hill. Yeah. Just a little bit unsighted down that end. I have to sneak around the back of the, uh, the desk I've got here to hang my head over. But I tell you, it's nice and warm here, isn't it, Andrew, under the, under the heaters? Yeah, if you, you smell pork crackling, it's probably just a bit too <laughs> close to the heater. Yeah. It's time for one of us to put a hat on, is what you're saying. It's, uh, This is definitely the place to be at the moment if you're a, if you're into bowls and you and uh, oh you like sport and you like good food and you like good company then this is the, definitely the place to be. Rural bowls and recreation. Jeez, Pete Taylor not messing around there. Yeah, he's clobbered that uh, Victorian lead bowl straight off the jack, clean. Yeah, we saw in the uh, in the state championship series that he's. Absolutely, f really familiar with that kind of shot. So, hold on to him there. Now he's got to go back to a draw, which is tough to do. So, a little bit something. Uh, People who play bowls would be very aware of is a little bit less consistency in a in a uh, in a grass green, little bumps and troughs. That's why we play the game outside because it's great fun. 
and really a real challenge. And uh, but these players have adjusted beautifully. It's not a. I'm just looking up in the other green. The the uh, stand of the bowls is quite remarkable, actually. All right. Let's see if I can find some scores. So the next rink across is... Trudovix. After one. Oh, it's just going up. Corey's yep. adjusting that. It's... Six. Six. After two. Nil six after two. And then it's... 4-0 to New South Wales after two on the next drink across. And still no ends up on the uh, ladies' master board, but seven shots uh, to nil over there. No idea how many they've played, but that's okay. Oh, that's good. We've still got 63 to get them back. <laughs> Hence, since saying it looks cold, I can tell you it is actually pretty cold. I'm, however, I'm standing here in a T-shirt and shorts because the heaters are on full blast above my head. <laughs> it's warm under here, but uh, chilly out there when I was setting the cameras up. Uh, Karen Brennan asking what the temperature is. I'm just get you an accurate reading right now right now it's 17 degrees I don't have a feels like for you but uh, that's about the prediction for the maximum temperatures from here until Tuesday and then warms up slightly so certainly not certainly not warm by any means yeah it feels like it's probably about 16 maybe it uh, that's from Albion Park where the airport is, the weather station. Uh, it's probably probably a degree or so colder here. Usually a little cooler here because we're right on the uh, edge of the the water. A little bit of a breeze. <laughs> Sad that Mr. Twist doesn't have a first name initial. But I put that there because I like the name Twist. <laughs> Thanks, Trish. You're not wrong. I can give him one if you really want, if it's uh, bugging your OCD, I guess. Put a, put down O for Oliver. <laughs> well, what what are they calling me? It's, um, who sang that? Who sang the Twist originally? Chubby Checker. Was it? I can't remember, but I'm going to have to look that up too. But there you go. There's the, there'll be a B on there now. Can't have two bends in the same thing. So what was that score, Mr... Uh, I didn't see. Guy? Wait for the score to go up. Well, they have actually... Maybe I've got the scores on the wrong. I oh, know they're using that one, so I can't actually see it. One, two, and three, it says does. That means it was one to New South Wales. So I'm jumping between YouTube and Facebook here as getting a little bit busy, so... Um, 
next door. It's four. No, seven three. After three. Seven zero after three. My apologies. And Disco just standing right in my way, so I can't update that one. The ladies' score is seven four. Still no ends. Still no ends. Definitely chubby checker, Denise is saying. They don't call him that. They call him something else. Huey. Huey, that's right. Oh, jeez. <laughs> well, someone's just pulled up. And uh, now I'm going to claim a little bit of... I know this is a game, state game between New South Wales and Victoria, but it's always good to see a uh, fellow West Australian turn up. Mr. Blake Nairn, welcome. How's it going, mate? Really, really well. Now, you're here for uh, UBC. Yep, yep, with the Whittle Sea Eagles. Awesome. So that's a, a different form of the game, and you're just here watching these guys now, I assume. When did you fly in? Uh, four o'clock this morning. Oh, that's clever. <laughs> it was a bit of a bit of an early one. Yeah, no doubt, but you've got some time. You're having a roll-up this afternoon. and a... Yeah, had a few ends, and they're coming out all right. Yeah, Look, good. Looking forward to it. Yeah, good man. So who are your teammates? Uh, we've got Nick McIntyre yep. from the Whittle Sea Eagles and Mr. Lee Schrainer. Oh, just just the uh, Golden gone Nugget in, winner? Gone in week. Mr. Gone Nugget. Week. Mr. <laughs> Nugget. <laughs> yeah, he's doing all right at the moment. We're watching his game. It's uh, it's pretty flash. He's, oh, he's standing outside the, the fence at the moment watching this happen. But, uh, yeah, it's good inside, mate. We had to move inside this morning. You'll be out of the rain during the week. Looks like it's going to get cloudy. It was a bit, a bit chilly on the way here. Yeah. <laughs> it was... Uh, not too nice. Did you bring the family over? Nah, just me, mate. Just me. Just you. They're going all right. Yeah, nah, they're all good. Back in Perth, so yeah, you got a great little family over there, mate. Oh, it's it's nice over here though. The clubs, Oof. yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. Some pretty handy bowls out here at the moment. Well, it's best getting around with a uh, you know we've got the state, all the state guys. You know, Corey Wedlock. At, I'm looking at Razor over there. Aaron Wilson, Matty Flapper. Uh, Lee Schrainer, clearly. Peter Taylor's goes all right. And then over the other side with the ladies, you, it's just, I get starstruck. I said it in the first game. I get, well, you're here too. I'm starstruck at the moment about to say, geez, I need an autograph. And that beard, mate, that's a good beard. Just a little WA battler, mate. <laughs> just a little <laughs> WA battler. That's fantastic. Oh, I'm glad to hear, mate. No, oh, it's good. It's good. So call something in. Look at this. We've just seen uh, the Victorian man drop one, drop a bowl straight on the jack right. the response is going to be a bit heavy isn't it you'll never be short yeah not in that one I'm pretty close here what a ripping effort oh yeah moved it through it hasn't changed it up much but uh, he was there at least so if you haven't heard of Blake Nair and everyone over this side of the country he's a famous man over in Western Australia uh for uh, for bowls, of course. He's a... Uh, well, geez, you played some pennants up here too, though. You played up north, up near Newcastle for a bit. And down at uh, Victoria, I'm pretty sure you played there too. You get around, but my best part of it is you play for the uh, Perth Suns in the BPL. And uh, he's the only man, I reckon, in my life, your team, that I've ever asked for an autograph. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you just got to go out there and enjoy yourself, mate. Absolutely, we do. At the end of the day, it's a it's a game of bowls, and if you don't enjoy it, then probably oh, shouldn't be playing. Oh, we're doing the wrong thing, aren't we? You got to enjoy yourself. Exactly right. Well, that's why I'm here, doing this job. What a shot! Yeah, a brilliant shot. Just clobbered the outside of him. Did he? Yeah, looks like he's got the shot out of it too. He's pretty happy. Big smiles down there at the uh, at the New South Wales end. That's uh, my teammate Dan Hill it leading is. up there. <laughs> it is. Mr. Bowls coordinator extraordinaire. Where from, mate? Charlestown. Uh, Charlestown. There you go. It was a lovely club. They've got uh, two new undercover greens. Oh, we, Andrew and I were up there uh, a couple of weeks ago now, and we managed to get there and look at their new scoreboards. The Ooh. whole kit is a beautiful place. I had a bit of a bit of a hand in those scoreboards. Did I was really? working for Mr. David King, yep. put, putting them together. We met him. There you go. So it was, uh, it was a... Pretty good little experience going up there. I met some awesome people. Um, it's a lovely, lo lovely area. Yeah, yeah, beautiful place. Just, just filled no, with Novocastrians. That's the only problem. Yeah. <laughs> there was a few New South Welshmen in there, but uh, 
No, it's a, it's a, it's a lovely club. Um, it was good that they gave me an opportunity to, to, to come up from Victoria and have a crack in their pennants. And i got to admit, it was a pretty uh, pretty strong section we had. We had uh, the two finalists of the state pennant. We had, um, yeah, well. Yeah. Oh, that's right, Raymond Terrace, of Raymond course. Terrace and... Uh, was it Soldiers Point? Soldiers yep, Soldiers Point. Point. Uh, yeah, two we'll very handy teams. Oh, yeah, handies. So very, very deep, fair understatement. They were incredible. That Those games were uh, something else. You've got superstars everywhere up in Newcastle. But they weren't lying when they said it was a, a very a tough region. <laughs> well, they go, I think I only end up with a handful of wins. Clinkers and grit, mate. Clinkers and grit in Newcastle. So yeah, I should definitely call him Huey. Billy Ahoy's watching. <laughs> well, <laughs> not that any of that matters. No. I'm up to day 78 off, uh, exactly off the right. alcohol. Well done to that too. I'm proud of you for that one, mate. Well done. That's a, that's a big deal of following your progress on that. Yeah, Inspirational. I feel actually. a million bucks. <laughs> I feel a million bucks. Excellent. So, on, uh, so someone just asked me who's on the leash runner's team here. It's Matty Bouse, uh, Taylor Dan Hill. Daniel Hill. Didn't I say that? Dan Hill? Da- Daniel? Daniel Hill Lee. Not Dan. Uh, <laughs> Peter Taylor second. Peter Matty Taylor's Bouse confusion. third. Yep. And young Peter Taylor, not old Peter Taylor. Well, yeah, uh, we just had a bit of confusion for that one too, by the way. There's a few Peter Taylors hanging around. There's two of them that are pretty fair. Fairly handy bowlers. Uh, one's from around Port Macquarie. The other one is on this rink from uh, Alstonville. There's about, oh, let's be generous to one of them, 30 years between them. <laughs> I think minimum. So that's why I refer to him as young Peter and old Peter. <laughs> and I call old Peter old Peter to his face, and he has a giggle about it every time. And he says, yeah, I feel old. <laughs> Probably two blokes you'd want to run into playing a game of singles against. Uh, classic draw bowls. Yes. Or oh, young Peter's not exactly classic draw bowls. He'll um, he put one on it. He's he'll have a niggle. He'll he'll rip you out. I imagine it's quite frustrating. <laughs> For those of us who don't get that many close, it's horrible to see someone rip them out again. <laughs> it's, it's it's a sad thing. Oh, Dan Hill on the trot here. He doesn't chase too many. Oh. Now I reckon if you put a beard on Daniel Hill, you've got Aaron T's twin brother. Oh, 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 I wouldn't. Oh, that's, that's a, where's Teasy? <laughs> he's he's got, got a delivery of uh, Jeremy Henry, though. Dan Hill, he lets him out uh, out via the peg sometimes. <laughs> oh, we love it. We're watching some really interesting deliveries. There was one guy last night, I can't remember which one it was, one of the Victorians, he's got a, a backward step on his foot. He, Kicks backwards like a horse before That's, he steps uh, forward. Johnny McKeeran. There you go, Johnny from, McKeeran. Um, where's he from? He's from Victoria. I oh, know he's from Victoria. Uh, the Jets, I think. Jets. Yeah. Yeah. Where, where is he from? He's got a little, kind of like a little pigeon step. Yeah, it's really, really interesting. You know, so I've just been asked why the Vicks are wearing uh, black armbands, and I actually don't know. I noticed it earlier. I'm going to run over there. I can see one of their, uh, one of their. Bosses, one of the coaches. I'll just jump over and have a word. Won't be a second. Are you going to make the uh, trip out to Dubbo again this year, Mike? Unfortunately, um, no, because we got a, a, a little test against Victoria. They're flying over to WA to play at the venue that we're playing the side series at. Ah, okay. So hopefully I get selected for that. Um, if I don't get selected, then I probably will play Dubbo. But the hopes are that I will be playing for WA, hopefully. Well, tough work carrying that trip three blokes you carried last time, though, isn't it? Oh, no. Um, Sh- Sh- Shonky's a pretty handy bowler. Um, yeah, we, I think we just had a bit of a dream draw and everything turned out good. And then we ran into a red-hot uh, Lee Schreiner's team who ended up winning it. I'm just having a crack at my mate, Steno and Phil. And <laughs> nah, D- D- Dean Tinley didn't bowl too bad. He, he's not as silky as he used to be, but he still gets a <laughs> gets a mean rock close. Pretty good for a bloke who drops him from the hip, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I hope he's watching. <laughs> just a slight bounce and wobble, but he, he gets him in the area. 
So uh, just, just a, sorry, mate. I'll just interrupt and say, uh, just on a bit of a down note, uh, Bob Middleton, an Australian champion, uh, did some really good things. Won a, a silver and three bronzes at the World Outdoor Championships in the eighties. Um, it was fourteen times Mitchum Club champion and. Um, was inducted into the Australian Lawn Bowls Hall of Fame. Uh, he passed a pass recently, and the black armbands on the Victorian team are for him. He's got a Wikipedia page too, if you want to have a have a brief look. And uh, a legendary stalwart of Victorian bowls as well. That's a fair resume. It is a fair resume, one that one day when I have a uh, Wikipedia page of my own, I will never be able to emulate. <laughs> I've got to point out, it's not often you see Aaron Wilson being 0 and 7 in a game of bowls after three ends, just no. quietly. You're not wrong. I'll just I haven't updated the scores for it for a bit. I've been running around answering questions, but I'll just jump on there now and. Oh. And go through. Yeah, it's <laughs> so seven four. Sort of he just picked up a four oh. to uh, make that well, look a bit better. Go. That's <laughs> yeah. That there's your fight back straight away. Ben Twister uh, five one after four. Such a methodical delivery by Lee Schrader. Yeah, pretty neat. He just repetition does the same thing every time, and you get results of consistency. Yeah, he's yeah, super consistent. I think that's what leading to some real success this year. He's quite quite an amazing bowler. Uh, still seven four on the ladies' scoreboard over there. And twist, sorry, a disco following this one down that classic one-eyed stare. He started switching eyes. I've noticed he's gone from right to left as he's running down. It's a, is that when he's on forehand or backhand? It's a good question. Maybe one eye's getting tired, so he just rotates. Oh, quick here by uh, Matty Flapper. <laughs> yeah, characteristically, they've got to be on their guard down there, the Victorian players. He nearly killed one of them just then, nearly took their ankles out. And it's uh, good to see him using the new colour come out by uh, Henselight. They've only recently come out a few the, days ago. What was that one called? The Atlantis or something like that? Something, but they look beautiful. It's a beautiful colour. <laughs> West Coast Eagles know all about 0 and 7. Yes, we do, mate. Thank you. Thanks for pointing that out, Pete. <laughs> we did have a win last week, anyway. <laughs> I'm a St Kilda man, so I've uh, had a fair few uh, 0 and 7s in my life. <laughs> oh, here we go again. He's putting marks on his brand new bowls. He's oh, he's clobbered that yellow one out from the back. Oh my god. <laughs> So she said, Carmen, Carmen supplied us with some pastries earlier and she asked, came to ask if they were any good, as if we were going to see any different <laughs> Carmen Plaza. I all, obviously came at the wrong they're time. Gone, they, Sorry, they're man. all gone. <laughs> yeah, you had to be within here about 14 seconds of them arriving. <laughs> Not wrong. So ends are up now on the uh, on the ladies' school board. So I can tell you they've, they've completed 11 ends. It is 8-10. Benny, you should have said you weren't too sure whether they were any good. You'd need some more to yeah. sample. <laughs> should have, shouldn't I? Should have asked for more samples. Karen Brennan saying, Bob Middleton, loving man, came to small country Victorian clubs to coach beginners. Thanks, Bob. Rest, rest peacefully indeed. Absolutely. Like, out of 10, those pastries are 15. 15 make, out of 10. Now you're making me jealous. The best cream horn oh. in existence. Oh. And I, I've got a second opinion on that. Who's had plenty of them? He definitely looks like he's had a couple of pastries. Who? Me? What? Yeah, jeez, you're right. I do. <laughs> Not, I'm a fan of a pastry. Uh, oh. Downhill on the trot again. Oh, look That's that. a pretty pretty fair set by the the little fella. All that undignified running up and down. That's not a good idea. He's fortunate enough to have the, the, the beautiful nickname, nickname of uh, Puss. Oh. Yeah. Fair enough. 
Not sure, but I, I like to yell it out. <laughs> So, new bowls that says Ocean Grove colours. Can't see them on there. Let's see what the Henselite website says. They usually give us a good... I've just bought myself a set of Henselites. I saw, I think it was West Coast Bowls had a, an ad, or, ad for them up as well. Atlanta. See, I was right. I am paying attention. Well, he just rolled Tyson <laughs> Chromie's bowl a little closer. Might have cut out Peter Taylor's, but I think it's still two to the Blues. Peter, backhand down. Could get up and over Daniel Hill's bowl. Yep, oh, it's yeah. not a bad result. Good shot. Oh, it's just broadened the target too. a little bit, though. As a skipper, you wouldn't be unhappy with that. I don't know if he's had enough. He can, he's not going to get around his own. He's going to be underneath. Well, he's got it and run off. I think um, they'll be looking to just get Bowsy to draw up maybe a little touch around the corner here, change this up. Looks too too inviting a target. Yeah, look, you know it's going to copy it. <laughs> That's as simple as that. Neither of these... Skipper's mind uh, having a go. They uh, don't oh. normally drop short. No, oh, it's not a bad home, though, right to the back. Barbara Green asking if I've chosen a rugby league team yet. Um, look, it's tough. Uh, something I've got some kind of weird instinct that tells me I should be supporting Canberra. Suck oh, there goes off. Jack. Look at that. What a shot. Although I think they did just lose today, so maybe that's wrong. No, they play tomorrow afternoon. Ah, oh, okay. Lee and all of his friends who are supporters of Canberra will be here tomorrow, so there'll be plenty of room. <laughs> well, that's been right back to the right back to the ditch. It's one to the Vix. Got a foot and a half to draw a shot. And Bowsy's not quite got the speed. Just dropped a little short there. Bowsy's another one that's really entertaining to watch his face as he delivers. Tongue comes out, the <laughs> All some really good faces. He's a, a very emotional bloke. He's good to watch. He and was a, an exceptionally good opening batsman playing cricket as well. I have heard that. He's a bit of an yeah. all, all round sportsman. I heard he throws a pretty good dart too. Oh, a dart. Yeah, I like playing darts. I think I'd. Start, I think they're starting that back up at Huskers and they got rid of the darts after a while. Darts is a good drinking game. Yeah, it's a good. It's just a good game. Full stop. I reckon. No, I, I don't like being the idea of lots of people who have been drinking armed with sharp projectiles. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past later to draw this. A little bit of traffic to get past. Needs to He's doing it well. It's how how quick are they pulling up on the edge is the question. Oh, Lee Schreiner. <laughs> what a lovely oh, shot there. Geez. Stiff not to get shot. Beautiful way. That's ridiculous. He's pulled up an inch at no no more than two and a half centimetres from the bank there. Oh, look, he, he's two or three inches wide, though, isn't he? He should have had a real crack, really. It's just try hard at Luke. Wow. Uh, take the right grass and he'll be going okay with this one. Hello to my uh, beautiful wife. She's, she's watching. Has jumped on, is she? Good. She's jumped on. <laughs> they were... Good to see you, Kelp. Oh, he's got the... Oh, he's just got oh. the rub. I don't know if he actually would have got quite there this time. I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Nah, he was dropping short. <laughs> 
see what Maddie can do. Crash. Yeah, crash. One to really minded. So I'll just do another score check, make sure I'm okay over here. Ooh. Well, three all after five is what that says, so am I almost have I done something wrong here? Maybe I put a score on the wrong side. It's been a, a big comeback on uh, rink nine, eight, seven. The New South Wales now, after being seven zip down. Yeah. So three all after five ends. I'm, I'm just as confused to you. I that doesn't make any sense to me at all. Something's happened there that's wrong. Uh, so I'll keep an eye on that and see what, see what actually happens. Eight, seven after five next door. One, one, one. Yeah, five ends. Five ends would be correct because. Yeah, so five ends makes sense, but uh, we'll have to check that score. You'd back the bloke with a scorecard to know what the score is. So yeah, maybe. <laughs> good, good uh, score will be a good player any day. Five, two, one, five. After five. After five. So that is what the scoreboards say, and I'll leave it at that. Thirteen. Oh, New South Wales massive comeback over on the other side in the in the ladies game. Fifteen, thirteen after thirteen. So good news there. Sorry, who won the third test for Hart Hartman? Is it that New South Wales one? That's uh, um, men and ladies, men and women's. So the Blues have confirmed there that they will hold on to both shields. 3 0 lead after three tests in both. So, do we have. Do you run our interstate tests in Western Australia against anyone, Blake? Uh, not that I know of. Normally we. Um if they play a side series, they'll have like a game against maybe South Australia or someone before the side series. Mm -hmm. But we don't have like little tests like um, Victoria, New South Wales and Queensland do. Not as close. Nah, it's a bit further and more expensive to get to yeah. to places. But it's good that uh, Victoria's coming over, um, I think it's next month or the month after. Just before the Nationals? Um, yeah, I think it's like a month before the Nationals for for a little uh, a little test you featuring in the Nationals at all? I'm not sure. The team gets, uh, gets announced on Monday. Nice. So Very good. I've, I've put my best foot forward and and hopefully uh, hopefully get a run. I'll give my mate Clive Adams a call for you, mate. He's probably watching on a, under an assumed account right now. He doesn't like me to know that he's watching. I uh, <laughs> uh, love, love Clive, uh, love yep. ringside. R ripping bloke and uh, a very, very decent bowler too. A uh, good friend of mine. And he's, he's the kind of bloke you want on to your, on your table for a quiz night. Oh, my God, he knows everything. He is, uh, he is a genius. But he doesn't know how to eat, so that's... So <laughs> you, you just said he's the most trivial bloke you know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. No, he's a good man. So, as we cross here, I haven't been out of six. I've been watching it live. I think Victoria, is that Victoria holding one? No, New no, South Wales holding one there. Taylor. New South Wales holding um, two. Darcy draw on another oh, one. There we go. He's <laughs> got a big smile on his face, actually, Matty Bouse. He's happy with that one. Swinging off a camera here, remembering my duties as a 
as a uh, photographer as well, but uh, the best part about it, I've got the big lens on now, so I don't actually have to move and I can sit here and talk to you about what's going on as well. Who says men can't multitask? <laughs> Women. <laughs> <laughs> oh, little visitor. Because there is the kids' playground around the back. Oh, we're still trying to run. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, kids' playground, a really cool restaurant here. This is such a rad club. There's a couple of birthdays happening, a first and a second birthday. Kids everywhere. It's a, it's a pretty nice club to be at. Yeah. You're looking for a contract, mate. <laughs> I'm probably not good enough to get a gig here. Say, strong, they're pretty strong. Strong players: Jeremy Henry, uh, Gary Kelly, just to start, and then Corey and, Wedlock, you know, Aaron Tees. Yeah, just have to mention Lee Stinson as well. Lee Stinson. It's not a bad place to live, mate, down here on the south coast. Or the, this is the Illawarra. I live a bit further south than, than here, so it's a nice place to come down for a game at uh, Naskerson one day. I'll show you what our little bit of paradise down there, Jervis Bay. Naskerson? Where's that? Naskerson. Uh, I'll show you. It's about an hour south of here. Towards the airport or the other way? No, definitely the other way. Okay. Sydney's, Sydney's to the north. Huskies. Fair effort here. Look at that, two consistent bowls. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what he does. Bowling real away from Mel Fuller, yeah, you're not wrong, he's unreal. His weight control is impeccable. Yeah, well, look, as, as good as anyone getting around at the moment. I think, because uh, uh, I was mentioning him the other night, I think it's like... 13 days straight or something, he's playing bowls. Maybe maybe yeah, 15, something uh, like Andrew was saying before he had, what did he, was he 13 days without a loss or something? Is that right? Don't remember. Someone was mentioning that before, yeah. It wouldn't surprise me. He, he doesn't lose many games. He went eight days in the champ champs, playing something like 16 or 17 games without a loss. You must do some travel on then, mate. Yes, yeah, so we're just showing up like the map of um, how far or where Jervis Bay is from uh, from Sydney. Yeah, get around a bit. Yeah, it's great. A little, uh, little chromey on the on the jack. Yeah, I love the travel, mate. I love travelling and meeting people at bowls clubs. It's uh, I've been doing living that life for a oh, little over a year. Oh, yeah, a little over a year now. In, in a couple of different jobs, but I, it doesn't get any better than travelling to bowl stops. It's just, you know yourself. There's good people everywhere. I'm, a, I'm a bit of a fan of, a, of lawn bowls. Yeah. I enjoy it. <laughs> yeah, it's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> There's worse things to be doing. Yeah, you're not wrong. Could be playing golf. Yeah. No thanks. Never lost a ball playing lawn bowls. Nope. I don't see the point of hitting a ball and then chasing it. <laughs> and the aim is to play the, the least amount of golf there is. That's it. I want to play more of something. I want to play more bowls, not the least amount of so golf. Driving golf is, golf is a game those. where you hit a small ball into an even smaller hole a long way away using implements singularly ill-designed for that purpose. <laughs> I don't mind a driving range, though. You can, yeah, you can take a bit of anger out a little white thing. It was a good one up at the Australian Open, near, near yeah, where we were staying. Top, top golf. Top golf. I that is a that. ripping place. I had a good time there. I had no idea what I was doing, but it was good fun. So, yeah, Brad Griffith saying Leroy's a marathon man, known for going large amounts of days in a row for bowls. Absolutely, he is. He is a... Uh, well, he looks at two. He's fit. Has uh, taken a step back from international competition, but I reckon he'd, he'd be troubling some... National selectors, if he was a, uh, if he was in it, in I personally mix. think he should put his hat back in the ring and and see what happens. He he's one of the best going around, and there's not many people who can beat Aaron Sheriff. 
No. Not in that situation either, not a golden nugget. Oh. In any game, Sheriff is hard to beat. Teasy just sticking his tongue out and giving me a bit of a stare straight down the lens there. That was lovely. Thanks, mate. <laughs> he's a ripping fella. He knows when he's on camera too. It's a pretty strong rink. Travis Moran, one of the best uh, juniors going around, just pulling up. The future world champ, I hear, actually. Let's see if his family's here. He's a good kid. Future world champ. You'd definitely be listening to his dad. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> nah, I saw it on an Instagram post, I think. But, uh... So I actually lost track of the jack. I can see it on the camera, but um, because I'm watching the live view, I have didn't see where, he, where it, it hasn't moved, but I thought it had. There you go. Pretty close bowls these guys are getting once again. Well, Lee was getting Matty Bouse to play it deliberately narrow to try and sit out that purple bowl next to the jack. The uh, Daniel Hill, the white bowl, or the white face of the bowl we can see. And that's Peter Taylor's bowl just been bumped. Oh, good little slide there. Bit unlucky not to get a better result. Well, they would have loved to probably pick up that jack and bring it back to their own bowl. Just looking over at the other school, but after 13 ends, the ladies at 16-14. So tight again between then. Look, there was, there was a gap yesterday uh, with the Victorians, ladies, and the you know, 20 shots in the end in the in test last night. And now this test this this morning, they were closer again. And the Victorians really not letting, them, letting the New South Wales ladies skip away at all here. It's exciting to watch. I definitely think it probably favours the home state a little bit because they have a few more games here at Warilla and Yeah, you're not wrong. And take you a bit to warm into it, maybe? Yeah, we were discussing yesterday the Victorians, some of them were travelling from 4 o'clock in the morning, same as you did today. You get here and play straight away. And I think some they, they're late yesterday, Andrew? Yeah, so the plane was delayed or something like that. They had to shut, sort the game down to 15 ends each. So yeah, it's never, never a good start. Some baggage issues. Breeze coming in is just a little bit on the cool side. Not cold. Not for. You've got a good little setup you're sitting at. You've got heaters everywhere. It's nice and warm. Yeah. All, yeah. Of, all of our kit all around us. I ain't going to put my jumper on in a sec, though, but it's uh, getting snacks delivered and everything. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. deluded Carmen. Jeez, Carmen. She could be one of the most famous people in our stream now. She's uh, the daughter of a baker. So I'll update the rest of the scores shortly as the players move on and I get a view of the scoreboards. Well, speaking of legends, Benny, I see Rusty walking in behind us. It is Rusty, yeah, the champion volunteer from, uh, from Fig Tree. Two taken out already. Yeah, it is a Saturday afternoon and people are coming and enjoying their refreshments. The place just here to, to watch the bowls is rusty. So what was that one, the uh, interesting fact? 
Lee's Bowles' resume has 150 titles at all different levels, plus his state and an Australian representative as well. He's a pretty remarkable guy. He's been bowling for a fair a fair while. Eight, nine, up to seven. So just as I go through these, the rink next door, which is Aaron Wilson's rink, it's gone to eight, nine after seven. Victorians are... Uh, I've jumped a little bit there. And the ring after that I can't see yet. I thought the number on the back of his cap was uh, his number that he's been selected a number of times, he, the order in which he was selected. The uh, Just looking at Brad Griffiths there commenting, I think, yeah, most of them have got that. Yep. We, we keep a list in the office, in the uh, Bowles New South Wales office, as to the cap numbers. Went 6-3 on 7. So Ben Twist doing quite well over there at the moment, 6-3. After seven, it's a fairly that's a low scoring game, but it's uh, nine shots in seven ends. But they've got the best of it eight, ten after eight next door to that. So I put that wrong eight, ten, and that one's six, three. Helps if I put the right things in the right place. There's a fair bit that goes into this streaming just quietly. <laughs> Yeah, we work, got a lot of uh, lot of jobs on the go at once, but uh, it's worth it, mate. I get to. I'm very privileged to be able to travel the the state and watch the best players in the world play, and uh, then I get to volunteer at things like BPL or, uh, well, not UBC. I'm not doing that this week, but just I you're, think a, you're a very handy marker at the BPL, mate. I oh. really enjoy the the, the different coloured socks and. And all that, and different shoes. Yeah, I got, got a new set this this uh, just this week, so just trying them in now, wearing them in. It's quite nice, actually. Well, thank you. I don't think I'm strong enough to pull that off. <laughs> so I bought uh, the Puma Retaliates that are the controversial ones. I think uh, um, there's a bloke out there with the opposite of what you got. <laughs> <laughs> no, two there at home. <laughs> Bit of a loose head here. Yeah, it's a bit, just a little bit. Oh, you were talking about the bowls. <laughs> <laughs> if the shoe fits. Ha, ha, ha. Thanks, lads. <laughs> well done, Blake. <laughs> yeah, I think it's uh, the blues holding, and it could be as many as. Four. Yeah, it looks at, I'm just looking through the big lens I've got here. and Daylight really is second shot anyway. Two, three, four. You'd back someone to beat that. Either well, Bousy with his last or well, Schroener. Matty Bouse has got the same shoes as me. Except only one colour. Well, that's another one. Which one of the yellow bowls is the closest is the big question. Probably the one behind the jack. I think this one will probably be their closest nearly. Oh, no. Oh, it's zooming through. I should probably stick to playing lawn bowls and uh, calling them. <laughs> <laughs> I know which one's easier. Definitely playing them. No, calling them. Calling them? Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, I've, never, I've never played a bad bowl from up here. <laughs> I've called a few bad ones. Once again, just looking around, and apart from you, Blake, the the rest of the best bowlers in the world around here as well. I saw uh, uh, Alex Marshall turn up a little while ago too. And, uh, 
He's in there somewhere. Jamie Turner, all the just Gary Kelly and Kev Anderson, all these guys, the good people, good people in bowls, and here for UBC. There's a there's a few handy bowlers inside. We've got young Nathan Black, up and comer. We've got Ben Winther, Brett Spur, runner up of the Aussie Open pairs. Not not the one just gone, the one before. I think a few of these players will be playing in it. So it'll be good for them to have that practice yesterday and this morning out on the carpet. Would be helping them for the UBC, I reckon. Yeah, such a silky delivery for a big fella. Who's that, Matty? Matty, yeah. He's gets him good. good. Well, he needs one close because he's in a, bit, in a little bit of bother here. Needs a, needs a shelf. Well, he will. There you go. He got it perfectly. A shelf. I hear that a lot. Tell me, explain a shelf to me. Just... Oh, just something to sit on. Something to sit on, something you know, to sit his bowl on. You put, yep. your, put your book on a shelf. You sit it on there, don't you? Same time with the bowl. You sit it off the shelf. I've Green asked him for the last test is tomorrow morning. Yep, this is the fourth test of a five-day series. Uh, five test series, my apologies. And... Uh, and it's close here. Whack. What a shot. Oh, he's a bit unlucky. Did he cleaned out one of his own? Got rid of two of his two own. Two of his own. But where's Matty Flapper? Has to draw again. Could be as many as three. Maybe even four. Could be four. Bit of pressure on here on the big fella. Mind you, he uh, did it very comfortably last bowl. You'd back him to do it again. Oh, yeah. Can Redman ask him about UBC when does it start? I don't know, actually. When does it start? Uh, it starts tomorrow, is it? tomorrow afternoon, 1pm. 1pm tomorrow afternoon. Is it live stream? You'll have to look at the uh, UBC guides. It won't be live streamed by us. Oh, commentators curse strikes again. Maybe that was a bit of parochial New South Wales commentating, backing him to get it so <laughs> that he wouldn't. All right, they're just going to look. Looks like they're just going to do a circle around here. That one's in. <laughs> Already taken that one out, Murphy. The oldest trick in the book: measure the same bowl twice. Well, they hid them out. I think it was four. So four, you say? Yeah, it might have been. I'm not sure. Oh, well, it's eleven. Is the title, so it was for. Good pick up by New South Wales. So the Vicks haven't done much since the very start of this game, is what I'm getting out of this. So the next door, after nine ends, Aaron Wilson's down by three. <laughs> Good start by Puss. You've got to make sure you put two S's on that, because if you don't, it becomes pus. <laughs> That's how I bowl sometimes. Gross. <laughs> oh, look, I celebrate if they end up in the same postcode that I'm aiming at. Notice they've turned the lights on here. Yeah, I just, it's just a thing that myself, there's only... What a set. Yeah, well done. You take that all day long. Yeah, the lights are on. It's getting a little dark. It's not that late in the afternoon. We're looking oh three forty, I guess. It does get pretty dark here fairly early, and a lot of that's the mountains that are close to us too, because uh, they create shadows across. But all right. 
Teasy with a beard. I've heard now Barbara Green's agreeing with you, Andrew, saying that uh, saying that he does look like uh, Teasy with a beard. I'm going to have to have a closer look now. Without a beard, sorry. No, yep. that's not going to work. I'll have a look as he comes across next time. I mean, it's not quite a Nat Narona Sam Ferguson look like. <laughs> the blokes are going hoop. The twin sisters, of course. Yes, I know. They are identical. Oh, I well, know. close enough to it. I get to say this again. My niece is dating their br- their brother at the moment, and uh, <laughs> my brother brother in law and uh, bowling partner and good mate, and he uh, took took this young man out to the bowling green and said, "Let's have a let's have a roll up just for a bit of fun. We'll have a chat and a." And a and a drink and get to know each other and uh, he kicked his bottom because <laughs> it's a bowling family and uh, Jason never heard of the Neronas <laughs> and he came to me and said do you know this guy? Yes of course I do they go pretty good <laughs> they go pretty good whole family whole bunch of Neronas out there well I think if we check the records Ryan would have played in a few state junior championships Juniors, so yeah. may even feature on the honour roll as a winner or runner up There's a fair few of the, the current state players uh, who've worked their way through juniors over the times. I think Matty was a junior, Anthony Flapper, Dylan Fisher played for Australia in the under-18s. Yep. Well, Matty Bouse is the, uh, the only person I know to have won the state junior singles, state singles and state championship champion singles. Wow. In New South Wales. On top of playing cricket as well. Yep. I'm a bit jealous that he's good at everything. <laughs> yeah. Oh, apparently his crayon work needs work. So crayon work? Yeah. Not so, not so good at the colouring yet. <laughs> I reckon you still beat me. <laughs> oh, here we go again. Ooh, pidge on the run. Oh, one of my favourite uh, name favourite sounds in bowls is that clunk. Oh, I hate it because it's usually what I miss. <laughs> Um, I'm not sure if Daniel Hill played in the junior bowls. I uh, he did play uh, juniors. I he don't recall juniors. him, but I know for certain Matty Bouse and uh, Peter Taylor both played in the under-18 sides. We go across the next ones, of course. Teasy and Corey certainly did. Matty Miles played for New South Wales Aaron in the under-18. Wilson. Disco played in the under-18s for Victoria. So ben Twist played for Queensland. So, Trisha, sorry, Trisha, I just uh, asked me to update the... Meanwhile, you're, you've just tuned in, by the way, but uh, can you update the women's score? They've just been updated. I think um, Pam was off having a chat to someone else down there and did not and, uh, didn't update for a few wins, but it's now 22 wins over there, 23-15. And... I'll keep an eye out and try to keep these scores updated. Uh, Mason Lewis and uh, Carl Healy certainly featured in the New South Wales under-18 sides. Razor, I'm I'm not so certain about whether he was involved in June. He certainly played as a younger man. And so I think that covers nine out of our 12... Played for the New South Wales under 18. Well, seven or eight of them at least. Whoosh. Try and get off the edge. Ooh. Ooh. Too fast. Jeez, it came through with some speed if it's jumping off the back and spinning along like that. He's probably got the quickest drive I've ever seen. Up there. I put it down to know, Ryan Bester. I think uh, no. Man, Matty Flapper's, think Matty Flapper's over it. He's got that big long backswing. 
gets them through. Makes it look effortless. Back to the draw. Harder shot in the book. Drive to the draw. Yep, hard as anything. And these guys have been doing it all weekend, or well, yesterday and today. And he wasn't far off there, by the way. Foot. It's another three, though. Lee Shrain has gone on a bit of a bit of a run of ends. So just making sure I get the right score up there. So three, three, fourteen, three after nine. Yeah, Bo Green's seeing a bit of frustration. Yeah, it can come out like in that in that manner. So seven, five, one, nine. Still, I don't know that's a bit different. That's good. That's one more end. I can add to Ben Twist score and. Eight, twelve, or nine. Still, no, no. I was just pushing it back. It got leg of the chair got caught in the uh, the tile. Probably about to fall over. Yeah, we nearly had to pick Andrew up off the floor. Then, <laughs> yeah. Nah, she's all right. You had to ring Cleary Brothers for that. For Blake's benefit, Cleary Brothers, yeah. is a local construction company, they have cranes. <laughs> yes, Brad. He, it, that that was more of a comfortable. He can go a lot quicker. He can make things fly. You've only got to hit them, not break them. Yeah, but it's more fun. Yeah. Yeah, some players like to uh, release a bit of frustration. You know, I know I do. And with the, can bring my confidence back if I throw everyone sometimes if I'm having a rough day. And uh, only I reckon feels like he is. Daniel Hill with another couple of good bowls. I think New South Wales just a little bit more consistent in this game. That's probably yeah. probably the difference. Dan Hill jumping them on and then Peter Taylor chucking another couple close. Puts the pressure on for the back end. Yeah, they're not missing much in any of them and look Dan at the front, Daniel, sorry, at the front, he's just, uh, he, he's the most consistent so far. I, mean, I haven't looked up and seen his balls anywhere but next to Jack there. He's a, he's a rip and draw bowler, but he also got a, got a pretty good drive on him. Peter Taylor now on his forehand. He's another one that likes to look at it. Look at the the bowl go down with just one eye. They don't take a lot of time on the mat, do they? No. <laughs> oh, it's his own. He's rolled in. The old two bowl plan. <laughs> <She's> <laughs> heard a, so we all just looked up. There's a heard a kid screaming behind us. It sounded like they'd. Going quickly down the slide, then more quickly than they'd want to. How does that sound? <laughs> Ugh, no injuries, though. Ben and Blake were just talking about nipping over and having a quick run down the slide themselves. Yes. <laughs> I've been on off the swing. It looks like <laughs> yes. a bit of fun. It's pretty cool, actually, that, that big circular thing. Yeah. It's a good setup they got here. Yeah, I reckon. There is uh, zero bowling clubs in WA that look anything like this. Uh, Bass and Dean, you've been a Bass and Dean's got an interesting one. Is it? Am I wrong? Nah. No, no playground there. They've got their weird. Um, I think the the probably the closest one to something like this is probably Coburn. They got a nice yeah. kitchen and a little playground and stuff like that. But most of ours are all kind of like oldish kind of clubs. I'm not going to ask uh, Andrew to pronounce Coburn. <laughs> no, I know, I know that one. That's easy. <laughs> There's a bowling club in a loo. Yep. I, I was actually fortunate. Are they flush with funds? 
<laughs> uh, I, I started it in a loo, which was interesting. But um, I was you. actually born up a swan. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, no joke. Well, you'll, uh, you'll know that. Have a laugh, then I went to uh, my no, final no. high school was Guildford Grammar School, so that's uh, Guildford. Oh, yeah. you're one of the lardy dars. One of the lardy dars, oh. yeah. Swamp rats, mate. Jeez, expensive place to go. There were plenty of jokes there, Blake, but I want a job on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> now, a lot of good sportsmen come out of Guildford. Yep. Um, Heath Ledger came out of Guildford, too. Obviously, you, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> Never had. <laughs> I enjoy playing sport. I'm not as good as you. <laughs> oh, just lucky, mate. Been playing for a long time. It takes a while to pick up this game. Mm-hmm. I get a bit jealous when I've seen blokes be bowling for four or five years and they're, they're, they're just behind me. I'm going, oh, no. It's not good for me. Lee just pulling up a little short here. Well, Blake, we used to ask... The fellas at our rookies competition that in essence they've been bowling for 30 months or less so I do practice and they go oh, yeah I, I, I want to get on the green a bit more than I do I only practice six for two hours morning and afternoon six days a week I'd like to get on for the seventh <laughs> it's pretty much the only way you can get good at this game is practice and repetition once you get your delivery down pat it's just a matter of doing the same thing over and over and over again Oh, you see all the champions, they do the same thing, time in, time out. I've got to do the same thing over down pat. I've just got to get that getting it close bit part. <laughs> <laughs> now, the, the, the biggest thing I hear is uh, I should have started this game earlier. Yep, we yeah. all hear that. All of us. I, yeah, I <laughs> just can't describe that to anyone. You know, it's a, it's a game that everyone regrets starting so late. It's just amazing. Everyone I know, everyone I've ever encountered in bowls that started when they've retired or the kids have moved out or that. It's just it's such a shame. We lose so many so many years of bowls just to that reputation of it being an old man's game. And that's what we need to push is is a younger it's it's a younger younger person's game. Well, I can tell you out there now it's just started raining. These are uh, look a bit cold out there now. It, it frustrates me a little bit seeing uh, the ads on TV. And oh. they got, they got all the old people in their yeah. whites playing bowls. It's like, where are all the young people? Put That's what should be on the TV is the young people. Oh, fortunate here. Got a nice little a scrape. Good bit of luck there for, for Big Matty. It might be what they need to turn the game around. So we are, we're playing 18 ends, wasn't it, uh, Benny, we were told? Yeah, shortened game. It might get even thing. shorter with this rain, I reckon. Well, we hope not. We might have to run out and rescue my cameras. <laughs> we'll just watch it from from that one up that's up next to us here. That's I can't hear it on the cover yet, which means it's not that not that powerful yet. But it will be annoying. What you need to do is uh, I saw Happy his little setup. He's yeah, got he's like a little hat for his buckets, cameras. Yeah. There's a little hat for it to protect it. Yeah, his little buckets are interesting, those things. <laughs> Looks like a little Ned Kelly helmet for your camera. Yeah, he's got all sorts of funny jury rig bits of kit, weights and chaos. <laughs> yes. This is a, a very professional setup you got. Yeah, Andrew's built this uh, pretty much himself. He's done it extremely well. You've done very well, Andrew. Uh, no, we, we actually had a company put most of the stuff together for us. The uh, fellas at Go Live Australia, based out of Caring Bar, did a wonderful job in setting us up to start with. We sort of had to replace a few bits and pieces there, the, um, all the cables and etc. Cat 5E cable doesn't like being uh, rolled out and rolled up too much. Oh, it starts to break over time, does it? Yeah. Then things like doors close over the top and cut it. <laughs> Pip kinks in it. People throw them around and tangle them. Trying to do the right thing. People like to help us out and it's great. Right up until they start touching the cables. <laughs> <laughs> Fold it up neatly. It's a bit like your, your old extension lead. Well, if they're not done properly, yep. it turns into a noodle. 
All right, so the lady score has just been updated again. 22 ends, 23-20, so close over there. This rain isn't going to last at all by the looks, depending on which way it shifts. Just keeping an eye on the cameras. Yeah, we've got one little rain spot on it. Maybe we should have jerry-rigged the uh, Denny MacGyver box trick. <laughs> we yeah. thought we'd be right. I could probably go and... Actually, you know what? I might just go and put a little rain cover over that one on that end. It shouldn't be a difficult one, and I'll be back in a sec. Good shot here by Pete. I was wondering how he's going to do it. I'm just glad he didn't ask me to do it. Uh, he's going to risk ruining the umbrella by taping it to the fence, I think. To try to touch. Okay. Better be careful, I think. That's the umbrella meant for the president. <laughs> That's a great ball Good for the Vicks. There. He's going to pull up a chair. He's a bit more comfortable sitting. You've got the idea, mate. Tails is... Whoa. Oh, great well. Great effort by Pete. You reckon you could deliberately slice that bowl straight across there? Oh, if you had to do it, you probably couldn't. Good shot here for the Vicks, though. They can just reach up on that back end. A little piece of that jack. It's probably the opportunity that they need to get back into the game is pick up a two or three here, get it back to single digits, and then work for the last few ends. And he's doing what I said. He's taping the umbrella of the fence. Any way we can put a camera on him so we can see what he's doing? Uh, no. I can't. Right. Look at him. Out, out, out in the rain, strapping a strapping an umbrella to... The look, at him, look at him go. See, that is dedication there, people. Mind you, I, I think I actually suggested that earlier that we could do that. Only I, I didn't want to because I thought I might ruin the, uh, the umbrella. And now he's putting his hand over to make sure that the uh, rain's not hitting it. Oh, slice. Nearly well, a fortunate just, uh, result there. Well, I'll just drop the graphics off the side for a moment. I love this camera setup. So nice. Oh, the remote cameras are wonderful things. It means we don't need three camera people, three operators. When we did get the professional company in, that was one of the expenses. It had uh, three extras to run the cameras. Wow. That got a bit expensive. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So what does a little setup like this cost? Uh, yeah, it's a, it, is a, it, is, it is in the uh, forty to $50,000 range to get all the gear we've got. It's, it makes you take your hat off and just put a little bit of respect to Bowles, uh, Bowles New South Wales and to, to putting the money into it and bringing you guys uh, such lovely coverage. Also means we get great value for our event partners that we can give a little bit of promotion to them. Train is close. Oi. You could play that bowl probably 20 times and get that gap once. There is a uh, purple bowl in the ditch as well, straight behind the jack. And nothing for Matty to be short. Needs a good rest here. He died. Ooh, he probably wanted a touch of there. Well, I reckon Lee might just go again, unless he's worried about taking his no, own out. I think he's only one worse if he gets his own. Maybe not even. So. I think, you try to, I think you try to get the jack or the two bowls for hopefully shot. Get a touch of your maybe one down. Certainly looks to be lining up for a run. Yeah, he ain't drawing. Oh. Wow. You couldn't have got much closer if you tried. Two to Vic. 
That was a pretty good mat throw by Matty. Well weighted for the bank. Uh, where are they put the mat to? Right up the green again. Good to see uh, young Chromie getting a crack. We're playing for the stake. He's uh, he's had a pretty good uh, 12 to 18 months. I think the move to Ocean Grove definitely helped uh, playing with Matty Flapper. I'm oh, just questioning whether that Ooh. roll is sufficiently down the green. Of course, needs to be a minimum of 21 metres jack distance. Oh, it's going to be a close one. Jamie Nabby, our umpire. I'm going to call it's in by about three inches. I've got a screen in front of the mat, so I'm not quite sure. Normally it's a Victorian thing to go T to T, but I, I think Lee Schreiner is uh, the, the goat of T to T. Oh. So they're, they're trying to... Ooh. It was back by about that... What's that? About Half 15, foot. 20 centimetres. Let's put the tape out and then he measures the spot. There was a gap of... Yeah, maybe that... Six, six inches or fifteen centimeters or so. So the mat's gone right back to the T. Oh, Daniel, not happy there. It's gonna well, it'll stop, but only because we train will stop it and put it on the T. The Vicks will pick the mat up, and the, here's the chance to go absolute minimum. Because after each team improperly rolls the jack, it's placed on the tee, and the first to play gets to place the mat wherever they want to. Yeah, Paul Butler says Aaron Sheriff and uh, Cameron Curtis both uh, open records. They won the junior singles, yes, and the open. I'm not sure that uh, Sheriff was won the champion of champions, and Cameron has not won the state singles. Won the uh, champion of champions a couple of times. He won it uh, in 1988 as a member of Mullumbimby, and then in 1989 as a member of the Hills District after moving down to Sydney. Oh, I know that one for a fact. I can't even remember what I did yesterday, let alone... Oh, well, look someone I, else did. I remember Ooh. 1988 because I did my HSC that year and Cameron was in my class. Ah, okay. Another Mullumbimby High lad. So you've uh, grown up with a few few handy lawn bowlers in your time? Uh, yeah, here and there. We, uh... Right. The only Eagles we want winning is the Whittlesea Eagles. Yeah. It was a pretty, pretty handy swimmer in school... Her big sister was in our year, Patria Thomas, a couple of years behind us at Mullumbimby as well. Now Australia's chef de mission for the Olympics. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure about Aaron winning the champ champs. I, I don't think so. Something to look up for us. But I'm, I'm pretty sure Cam has not won a state singles. It's good to see 355 people tuning in for, for a lovely game of bowls. Oh, that's about half of them, mate. The rest are, the rest are on YouTube. What we get is... Uh, oh, YouTube. Yeah, as well. So we stream through both. Ooh. I didn't even know that. Yeah, so another another 300-odd there. So 
Yeah, Saturday afternoons is good. Last night we were well over a thousand people uh, tuning in. We love that. We love that everyone gets here. We've got some real bowls tragics too. I love them. The guys that are on here every single time when they let me know they're here. A couple from Wales, uh, Scotland. I've just... And the uh, main aim is... Progress score, Jay Allen Dale. Yep, absolutely. I've just, just gotten back. I just had to go and rescue the cameras from, for some rain. Uh, actually, it hasn't been updated. No, the ends haven't. The scores have. So it's 25 to 24 over there. New South Wales, one shot up. They've come back, actually. Uh, what have I missed here? 14 7 after 11. Vic's obviously scored a 3 there. Next door, 8 15 after 11. They actually they haven't updated their score for a couple of ends there. 9 5 after 10. So that's the scores are up to date as far as I can see them there. Oh, just the rain is, has eased off. I'll put that on a bit of a rain cover on the more exposed camera. So that should be fairly safe and we'll be able to continue the coverage as long as it doesn't get too strong. Yeah, so I've just checked back the um, records. Uh, Omar has not won the Champion of Champions and Cameron has not won the state singles. Wow. Uh, Joe Field commenting here. Hayden Bolajowski is my favourite player. Could have picked probably 30 in front of him. <laughs> 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 nah, I love you, Hayden. Ripper, ripper fella. Hey, welcome, Jay. Yeah, just, just one shot between them. Um, I've just tried to look at all the ladies' scores over there, but it's because of the angle I'm on, I can't quite see. One of them is 6 to 9. I think that's uh, Tash Van Eldick. Tash Van Eldick's ring. So Victorian's up there by three shots. I'm about to get a view 10-8 after 10 on the middle rink, which is Dawn Heyman. And the final one, these lads are just in the way, 9-8 after 10. Oh, I don't think that was good. No, Lee, a bit tight, has pumped uh, the shot bowl. And it's just going back to a Victorian bowl. The, um, mm. You probably wouldn't see that too often. He doesn't normally uh, normally misclick. He's normally pretty pretty gentle up to and things. Flaps has Fair compounded it. Here. What a shot. Oh, has he just fallen out? Yeah, it's only one down. Might have changed angles, though. Might make it a little bit harder for, for Lee to play something up to it. And uh, West Coast... Uh, uh, Seven shots behind Essendon. Points. Seven <laughs> points, I don't know. <laughs> That's it. I've got the uh, Aussie rules. It got pointed out to me that West Coast weren't getting flogged for a change, so I'd just pull the score up next to me just so I can keep an eye on it. I was going to say, yeah, seven points finish. behind. Are we only two minutes into the game? <laughs> it's That's last quarter. Wasn't it 200? Oh, they one, got beaten by the other week. <laughs> I keep saying 200, knowing With Benny will Four minutes up. to go, I think. Oh, I know. Does I say four we minutes? won a game last week. I've got some relief, yeah. Four minutes to go in the last quarter, Jeez. one point in it. So. You win back-to-back, -back, you're nearly a chance to... Um, no, you're not making, you're not making finals. Ooh, no. <laughs> no. Not a chance. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I, I thought <laughs> a winning your, your streak for West Coast sure. was one game in a row. <laughs> it, it was. They're it, on a sausage year. roll. <laughs> this year it is. Well, if you're used to losing, you may be with West Coast, you should take take on maybe the West Tigers in Sydney. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I heard that. Or St George is the other one I, I hear, but I better be careful saying that around here. <laughs> I think it's Daisy Field, actually. Joel? <laughs> Well, I think there's still plenty of people in this area who'd prefer it to still be the Illawarra Steelers. Steelers? The what? The Illawarra Steelers. They were the team that they become the joint venture with Illawarra. With St George, it becomes St George Illawarra. Are we, are we talking about rugby game? Rugby yeah. league. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> that's Is right. That, uh, Newcastle Knights? Yep, that's them. Okay. Oh, good shot. Just yeah, through. That, that's the other out. steel town. 
I, I never followed uh, rugby till Mr. David King from uh, Newcastle took me, took me, my wife, my son to a game, and uh, yeah, I'm now a fan of Newcastle Knights. There you go. So Commiserations. Being a uh, fan <laughs> of Newcastle Knights, and I'll, I'll forgive you because I'm a West fellow, as a fellow West Australian, I can tell you, you can't call it rugby. You got to call it league. Rugby. I call it the game you hump the ground. <laughs> it's a, yeah, it's an in, interesting, uh, interesting change of culture coming across from Perth for for that one. That took me a long time to learn too. I still haven't got a team though, mate. You're doing one one ball than me. It's all footy back in Perth. Yep. Raymond Black saying I should follow the rugby. All Blacks today. Well. Only just beat the Wallabies, which counts as a win for the Wallabies, I think. <laughs> but uh, was that in Perth? I don't know. But my uh, my brother-in-law and uh, Bowles' partner is, a, is an All Black. He's a Kiwi, and there's no way I could follow rugby <laughs> with him around. I'd get in the world of it. But, Yeah, I like that. Well, it's a great start from Daniel Hill. Tails just a little bit shy. It's going to be worked off. Good, good result here. Yeah. Well, head, you'd have to say favours the Victorians, even though the Blues hold one. So it was in. Oh wow! West Coast are about to go for a shot. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> I'll get distracted for a second. Tails, but uh, here he goes. In behind. Right to the ditch, on. too. That's Look a, at that. It's a pretty good spot to, to be landing. So Ray Black saying the game was in Dunedin. It's in one oh. of my favourite places in New Zealand, actually. It's a great place. Great I'll, town. I'll be heading to Dunedin for a little Australia versus New Zealand PBA tournament coming oh, really? up. Yeah. A little indoor thing. <coughs> it's probably another club Ben wants to visit. The Dunedin. list is up to about 723 clubs by now. Oh, that's because everyone keeps telling me where they bowl. I look them up and go, oh, that looks great. <laughs> I'm going to go visit that. So, Fair effort by Pidge. Oh, look what at that. What a shot. Oh, and oh. it fell in on top of him as well. Got a shot. Not sure who's got shot. I'm pretty sure Pidge has it. Yeah, Pidge will have it at the back. but the uh, Yeah, his bowl it, is next to that. It's yeah. under the rink marker, the bowl. It did ricochet off Pete's bowl. I'm not sure if it's drawable. Yeah, Blues will want to get a second one in there anyway. Hmm. West Coast, 72-67 Seven. up. <laughs> I'm very surprised. Everyone's surprised. <laughs> not the least of supporters. I did think they were going for draft picks, so this might hinder their uh, their <laughs> opportunities. Pidge having another run. Oh, hello. Is he aiming? He's aiming for the bowl at the back, isn't he? Or promote? Oh, or he's not that in. We will see the it result. Fill in. The or, was that a toucher? No. Is he out no. of the ditch? No. There is another toucher on the green. It's the one next to that last bowl that came down. And they're certainly not looking to put it in because it's a Daniel Hills. Mm. Bowsy just wants to get past and get another lovely line again. Second wood. And it wouldn't be too often you see uh, two brothers skipping rinks. No, the no. Flappers, that surprised me actually Anthony when I was looking at the program. Flapper. And just like that, the Eagles lost their lead. <laughs> They're down by one. Yeah, you know, yeah I haven't seen too many uh, brothers skipping, skipping for their state. Together, no. Together. Yeah, Wilson's pretty happy with it. What went on just then? He just got the jack for four, four by looks. Yeah, pretty solid bowl. Potentially five, but depending on what that orange one's doing. But at the back here. Lee Schreiner. He might be looking for the toucher. Yeah, maybe. 
Can you point out which one the touch is, Timmy Edra? I can't see the it's chalk on the, on the tee. Hole. That's the one on the tee? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I, I don't think you can get it in, was the issue. Too, many, too much traffic between it and the ditch. done here he's got a oh he's just crashed in the front one so one of the victorians and the eagles lose by one point heartbreaking i'll probably Apparently. put that down as a win yep anything in under victoria. 100 is probably good in victoria it was too so 14 9 on this rink at the moment after 13 ends matty flappers won the last few ends he's done to He's back into the game. Yeah, it's all... Oh, the, yeah. Whoa. Whoa. He's, got to, he's got to work on those. <laughs> he's Box jacks one short. Out. Is there any, any truth in the room that Ian Lean's his uh, Jack Rowling coach? <laughs> Ian Lean. Uh, nickname is he... Buckets. Because oh. if he ever throws the jack, everyone says, take a bucket of jacks out. Oh. Practice. That's no good. I reckon they only pick him at second because he can't roll can't the jack. Roll jack. <laughs> Throws him out of bounds. I don't know. It oh, confuses me. Yeah, there's, there's a few people. Depending on your jack delivery, there's um, there's a few people I've seen that's got some pretty bad ones. Man, you're such a nice guy. <laughs> As a guy at my club, is exactly the same. For some reason, can throw throw a bowl within you know nothing of jack, but can't throw a. Uh, a jack to save his life. Meanwhile, on the ladies' ring, after 33 ends, it's just been updated again. 28 all. Oh, nice tight tussle over there. Yeah, that's that's huge. We're 34 29 after 36 here at the moment, according to those scoreboards, which is pretty remarkable in itself. 39 29 after 37, he's not updated that. I'm a little bit more up to date, I think. 11 5, 10 5 after 11. 10.15 after 12, and ours is 14.9, but I can't see it. Fair set here. It's amazing how important a good lead is. You dob it on there, and then your opposition's chasing. Yeah, it's one of our themes. We talk about it a lot. One of the, the tropes, I guess, we talk about a lot on these live stream is the importance of a good lead and and uh, and how amazing and how it just sets things up so well. And you can see the teams that win more have a really good lead. Definitely. Skippers get all the glory. Yeah. A lot of a lot of people put emphasis on a skipper. A skipper's there to determine how much you win by. It's your front end that determine if you win or lose. That's the way I see it anyway. Oh, I couldn't agree more. We've got a similar kind of theory on it that when we played down at, at when with my team, the front end are a real a team within the team, and and the back end are either there to clean up or risk you take your pick. But the game's won at the front. I just think everyone's got a job to do, but usually the skipper plays the glory bowl at the end, the you know the save or the, the conversion. So that's the last bowl of the head, and you remember that one pretty much. Oh, there you go. Some uh, some really good stats from Sam. Oh, I'm going to say his name. Is it Clough or Clough? I can't. I'm not sure. Sam Clough. Clough. Sammy Clough. Clough. There you go. Clough was close. OAM. Don't forget the OAM. Oh, the OAM. Or he'll, or he'll tell you to put it on. Well, he should, because if he's got an OAM, he deserves to be recognised for it. So, good on you, mate. Uh, Karen Murphy for Australia, then Kelsey Cottrell, Lindsay Clark, Aaron Sheriff, Tash Van Eldick, and Beck Van Aish, the two Dutch Royals at the bottom. And for New South Wales, this is for you, Andrew. Peter Rubin, yeah, 386. Rubbed. Rex Johnson, 336. Sam Laguza. Yeah, Char Sammy Laguza. Char Charlestown fella as well. There Sammy Laguza. Yep. And uh, Karen Murphy with 280. Steve Glasson, 245. Aaron Sheriff, 233. Barry Salter, 228. 
Beth Quinlan 222 and Johns 169 and Tash Van Eldick 167 and that doesn't include uh, what we're currently what's currently here now some pretty handy names on that list uh, Ben Twist has recently played his 150th and Razor would have played his 150th in test one of this series wow Just, so, to, just to play for your state is an honour, let alone playing 150. So that's a fair, that's a fair few years. Yeah, I think that's the thing that's about following these players around, like I do, like we do, and and that is wanting to, that desire to play at this level is is pretty strong in me at the moment. I don't think I'm good enough. I don't get get enough bowls down at the moment, but I'd love to be up here with uh, with you guys wearing the state shirts. 30. It's a pretty it's good a, feeling. Like you, do, you go out there, put 110%, and hopefully get the win. So a couple more ends just went up the ends, didn't get changed. Pam's sitting there reading a book or holding something, so she can't reach that high to change the ends. But uh, the Victorian women have just kicked ahead 32-28 in the ladies. Oh, I think she's holding a hot cup of coffee, and she's just letting the glow from the coffee warm her face. <laughs> it is it's pretty chilly. Over where she is, we, like you said, we're under the heaters, so we're a bit sheltered well, from it. I've got my jumper on and we're under the heaters, so. And look, we're, we're probably lucky that wind's a little more westerly than south southwesterly, because when it comes south southwesterly, it comes off the uh, Australian Antarctic region, <laughs> or the Alps. The Alps, yeah. So you, you, we know when it's snowing <laughs> and the wind is coming from the south southwest, because... Um, it's all the adjectives that are really descriptive and cold. <laughs> just want to... That's it, 14, 9 after 13. Just Fair make sure my score's right. A little tough. That'll be three, at least. No. No? That's... Uh, uh, green, green one is Bousies. Yes. So, here's one for you, gentlemen, as well. Uh, the Soldiers Point Club Fours have just been done. The Soldiers Point, obviously a very powerful club. Paul Russell, David Salerno and Gary Kelly, or Gavin Kelly, Gary Kelly, have just uh, have just won it. And so has Warren Shipley as well. It's good to see Shippo just pointing out his own wins. <laughs> oh, look, he should be disqualified. He missed the opening round. I thought so that. I think he should have done the honourable thing and let the bloke who played the first round step in and stay in. I thought Mick Beasley was a shoe-in. Hey, hey, he's a gun, Mick. I think he's a tender age of like 75, and he's yep. still skipping uh, Premier League. So, what have we got here? Vic's uh, catching up a little on this scoreboard. So it's uh, there's eight, eight shots in it, 39, 31 after 38. What we say, 18 ends? 18. So there's only, only a few ends to go. Five shots between them here. Well, we're two th- two thirds of the way through. Give or take. Schreiner on the nibble again. Joel, yep. nope. <laughs> not going to do that one, mate. It's oh, not he's got enough. Not something we discuss on this. What Schreiner Lee has? Yeah, he's kicked that yeah, jack has, sideways. That. Three. Wow. Watch this. Uh, so Lee Schreiner. I'm just watching this on the on the little screen here, and yeah, he kicked it across, really edged it, S- absolutely square, tiny little uh, a little little piece. It's amazing how hard you can hit a jack and for it to go nowhere, and uh, sometimes. But 17-9 now after 14. I just confirmed that on the scoreboard. Yep, uh, I've seen some full-blooded drives, literally just rock a jack. Yeah. This is the Just a wiggle. Shoots past. Well, I could tell a story about one evening we were playing club pairs, last end, needed to just give it a jack a little kick. The Albatrosses played what I thought was an absolute ripper. It's come all the way down just as he got near a little bug land on the side of the jack and he's murdered the bug <laughs> and not moved the jack. <laughs> you would, uh, you'd be pretty, pretty filthy at that bug, wouldn't you? Well, the, the bug could have just stuck its butt out a bit more and it might have pushed the jack across. He's gone so close that he's taken the bug off the jack and not moved it. No touch. I reckon maybe that bug was paid off to, to <laughs> oh, yeah. deflect, deflect the jack, uh, deflect the bowl, maybe. A, one of the 
Yeah, down in Bomaderi, south of here, you get some uh, pretty big cicadas. And uh, we're playing down there with, with again, I'm going to mention again, Jason Bailey and, and Don McKenzie, my mate from St George's Basin, in a, in a night game. And my brother in law deflected off a cicada and hit Jack from a long way out. So that was a weirdest one I reckon I've seen. Cicada lived as well, picked up a huge thing. Back back when Jace was a brand new bowler. <laughs> yeah, up and over his own. Probably still one to Daniel Hill, but got better position out of both of those. Yeah, look, leads are, lead, both these leads are doing very, very well. Good thanks, Tom. Yep. Sean Thompson, dual state champion last year, just uh, stopping for a rib. Ripping fella. We've had a few run-ins over the last couple of years. He's he's a pretty handy bowler. Lucky had Jack to carry him, eh? Jack Machine's going pretty good. Oh, he's had a lean year this year. He didn't win his state championship. Picked up two last year. Got to give everyone else a chance to play with your toys sometimes. <laughs> He's definitely a name on the rise, I reckon. I'll tell you what. Viewers, they are shadows on the green. The sun's peeped out over the horizon. Well, what is that thing coming from the sky? I know, right? Now, all of a sudden, there's sun, bright sunshine across the green. Well, we didn't think the Victorians would know what sunshine was unless it was 45 <laughs> degrees. So we've ordered some sun just to upset them. Well, there's, it's been, yeah. Well, you guys speak of drives. Is a, it's a pretty good target there for anyone. Jack in the middle. Just enough of a gap to make it uh, so you can just drive straight through it, though. Yeah, so that... Uh, I think Bowsey will just be playing for a little nibble of the jack over towards Dan Hill's bowls. A little high side of the jack. Yeah, if that, that bowl at the back is, just became very important, I think. <laughs> and Bowsy running back as well. Blake, Blake was wishing we had the Telestrator. No, not that fancy. How cool would that be? You'd be able to draw a little line and see where the jack well, goes? And yeah, stuff I, was, I was actually saying that before when we were talking about tactics. I have to verbally say it because they just put just on there and draw go... Draw on a line. Just push through there. Any way of getting that? Uh, yeah, there is actually. Yeah. You, uh, you can do it through the graphics layer, but you've got to put in... It just takes too long to do. Ah. So you'd have to add a graphics layer and then put in a... Shot by PG. Oh, look, belly. Smack. What a just shot. Just, just like I was saying, it's... Did Jack stay in the hole or did it... No, he's got it. Has it jumped a bit? Yeah, it's Boom. in there. It's right next to his bowl. That's just perfect. Pidge loves a bit of a nibble. He loves loves a drive. <laughs> Go Brooks saying that uh, the sun's shining in Victoria at the moment, Andrew, so pull your head in. <laughs> uh, Brooksy. What's it doing in Wagga? Here he comes. Bows, he just... Well, he's got second shot. He's given his skip a little bit more confidence there. He's, no, no, Matty. I was saying Matty Flapper just said two. I don't know how that works. Doesn't no, look like that at all to if, me. If he gets past the tee, he's two. Oh, okay, right. That was cool. I only just saw him put two fingers up. No, no. Had to get past the tee for two. Well, he did, but he didn't get two. No, 37 ends. Yeah, we've got an ends change up there. I'll just look up at the ladies' score. So it's 37 ends over there now. 29-33. So Victorian's still holding on over there. But down in the men's game a little bit. I'll just update a few things. Aaron Wilson, 15-16. So one shot down after 14 ends. And I can't see the twisty score, but once I do, I'll let you know. There's a wall of Victorians in front of it. 
twisty score ends in zero. That's 12 ends. It's 10 7. Still going pretty slow over there. So, Matty Flapper just looking to beat those bowls, that, that wall of bowls at the front. He th he's through that little gap, that second shot. Lee's trying to look. They've got a couple of metres still. Oh, he's... Is he going to get past? He doesn't want to get the wrong one here. Oh, he has. He has. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. <coughs> Cork cool through there. It's three shots. Well, he said he reckons we've got three. They'll probably have a, look, a closer look, but... He's normally a pretty good judge. Yeah, no doubt. Fair effort here by Matty. Once again, just has to beat that, that line of bowls at the front. It looks like he's done well. It's interesting how they all stopped on that line. Sometimes that couple of metres and you're trying to draw it to this spot is... Uh, It can not, be a bit tough. It gets in your head a little bit. It's not the easiest draw into a plinth because you don't want to overplay it and drop in the ditch, but mm. then also you don't want to drop short. So you, you tend to either drop short or you end up going in the ditch. <laughs> Brooksy saying, Andrew, that it's sun's shining in Wagga as well, just saying. <laughs> So while we're here, just a special thanks to Wurla Bowls for their wonderful efforts in hosting this series. They've, um, they do provide plenty of assistance to us and plenty of support to Bowls New South Wales and a number of state championship events, including the juniors. So we do thank Wurla Bowls to, to fill in the board. Oh, look, and what they did this morning for to get us inside, uh, Jeremy Henry grabbing the... Speaking of the UBC for us and uh, giving them, giving us access to the greens in there was was really good and thanks to UBC for actually allowing that as well it, uh, made our lives very easy. I think you'd find bowlers always happy to help bowlers. Just want to talk about mate, our community is amazing. Uh, it's a good it's a good good bunch of people to be a part of bowls. So four ends to go on this this rink. I'm just keeping an eye on what's happening. Oh, geez, we've jumped again. So while the ends haven't changed, it's 36-29 to the Victorian ladies. Just getting a bit of a kick on over there. Maybe enjoying being outside rather than being inside. I know we've gone short with this one. The mat is right up. So you said UBC next for you, and then what? You going back for back home? Yeah, head back home. Um, state training, hopefully, mm -hmm. and I'm not sure what my next my next adventure is. <laughs> Maybe BPL if I get picked again. Oh I think, yeah, um, they're naming the team in the, in a couple of weeks or so. I'm excited to hear about that one. Uh, yeah, just enjoying my bowls, having fun, you know, getting some good opportunities. Yeah, you're getting around a bit. I'd love to see that too. And just enjoying it, mate. Just enjoying bowls. That's why we play this game. That's it. It's actually uh, getting quite warm with that sun out. <laughs> well, the breeze has stopped. The sun's shining directly on our backs now. It's quite beautiful. I've got the uh, the Bowls New South Wales staff <laughs> sauna jacket on. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I just noticed it's wonderful um, on the two degree mornings, but getting rather warm now. I just noticed something funny. Corey Wedlock's over here. He's just uh, having a look at the right, the big screen <laughs> behind us. The rugby leagues on behind us. He's uh, just checking the score.
So, I thought he was a Bunnies man. He is. He might be disappointed it's the wrong one. Ah. It's the Queensland Derby on now. It's the good news for Broncos fans at the moment. 11 minutes to go. They're 10 in front. I hope Billy hasn't taken that in the staffed rugby league tipping comp. I'll bet she has, though. <laughs> I'm one point behind him. I'm leading the... Uh, I'm still in the Bowls Australia one, and I'm leading it right now, so that's pretty pretty proud of that too. They're all Victorians. I don't really have the attention span to do tipping. I tried <laughs> footy one year and did like six weeks and then forgot to do it after that. <laughs> that's more fun when you're winning. <laughs> well, here he goes. That's a fairly heavy shot coming down. Oh, he's, he's got it again. I was just cleaning everything out. Why not? I don't think he's claimed a shot out of it, though. Oh, he's given a bit more room. Oh, yeah, definitely room. Spacious now. I played uh, Pidge twice last year in Vic Penance. He's, uh, he goes very well. Bit of an unpredictable fella. He uh, sometimes drives when you think he's going to draw, and he'll sometimes draw when you think he's going to have a runner. <laughs> They're the hardest people to play against. It's a fair effort after a drive. So we're 17 13 after 15 ends as our board stopped updating again. No, no, it's going good. I'm just giving Benny a prod. I think uh, Wilson just picked up a four, I think. I think he's just gone 19 16 up. 19 17. Nineteen seventeen is that on Twisty, sorry, or just on uh on Aaron Wilson? Wilson's. Well, yeah, that is a turn up. What a shot. Quite see it. Jeez, I've got a bad angle on that. Sixteen, my apologies, there he's right there. The Jack's just and gone the into twisties. the ditch about a foot inside the peg. Yeah, we've got no chance of getting in on that camera. Yeah, Twisty's Score still hasn't updated. <laughs> and the ladies, 30-39 now. So every time Nissa Files gets one, for the last few few times there's been an update, Victoria's getting three. So nine shots ahead now, the Victorian women. So the Blues holding one with Daniel Hill's ball. I think Lee's looking at maybe sitting that yellow ball for a number. If that ball disappears, he might make a few. Just expanded our inset screen a little bit. Just to make that easier to see. The two-tone bowl is Daniel Hill. Mm -hmm. Well, he's getting a bit... Oh, he's going to hold. And it's going to bump into that front. Where's it going? One to the Blues. One to the Blues. And we're at up and back level here. Two ends to go. 18-13 on this rink, so... Well, would have hurt five shots, uh, five shots to catch up for the Victorians, and I'm all covered up again. But 30-39 at the other end, the ends still haven't been updated. But as soon as they are, we'll I'll let you know. And Twisty's 11-8 up on 14. 11-8 on 14, so he's 
it's a long time between between shots there for Ben Twist. There, are, you know, couple, a very methodical behind. rink. Very yeah. methodical. <laughs> you know, Twisty's got a very set routine. They line up if you've ever yeah. seen, and then a really interesting delivery too from his back leg forward. He doesn't get he, any backswing at all. He, he does a bit of a push. Mm. A bit of a push. But the results are, results are pretty good. Oh, spectacular. Good start by Hilly here. Well, Ben Twist, one out. New South Wales State fours a week ago. Yep. A week ago? Not even a week Not ago. Not even a week ago, yep. Last, uh, no, no, it was last Sunday morning. Sunday morning, yep. So just under a week ago. Oh, look at that. And Craig Donaldson as his lead. Craig is, uh, Pixie is very methodical. Um, and Matt Peterson playing second, Perm, known to be very uh, slow. <laughs> yeah, has a reputation for it. Perm, Perm's one. We said no, 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 no. The camera's not frozen. It's just Perm getting ready on the mat. <laughs> uh, Fergo playing third, who's is very deliberate as well. Maybe not real slow. And Twisty himself. We we did say. It was lucky we only had one game on the Sunday for the final because we could have been there till 5 o'clock with that team, starting at 8.30 in the morning. Oh, yeah, that was crazy. Do you but, guys no, still play 31 good. up here in your singles? No, we've, no? we've moved that back to 25. 25. It wasn't long ago you guys played 31 up, was it? Yep, that could be a marathon. I've only ever played one 31 up in my life, and that was the Everest against Nathan Rice. Yeah. And uh, I hi- highly uh, don't want to do that ever again. <laughs> That's a long Can't game. Can't wait for long games. Yeah, it's, uh... <laughs> well, I played a club singles game where we played 50 ins. Our mark was uh, very vocal in calling us names for playing 50 ins. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go home. <laughs> we, we did actually get through it pretty quickly. We are well under three hours. Three hours? Oof. All right. I had uh, consecutive singles matches on a Saturday afternoon, Sunday morning that went three and a half hours each. 40, 44, 45 ends, both of them. And I think I killed about six or seven at least in each one. You find out you can't walk much after that. That's long games. What are are you playing, WA? Uh, 21 up mainly, um, and 25 for semi-final, final kind of scenarios. Our state is 21 up in your sectional, um, 21 up in your your post-sectional, and then when you get to semi-final, finals, go to 25. That's interesting. Yeah, I always wonder why you change duration mid-competition. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think it's more of a time thing, because some greens are running 17, 18 seconds, and if you're playing 25 up the whole way, it could be a bit long. And Yeah, look, in, and you're right, in WA, it's, I think it's, oh, good, good shot. shot. Bousy. Got a That's piece. dead. Yeah, eight, 86% of the greens in WA are uh, synthetic. As Plastic. Well. Plastic. Plastic, indeed. So, it's... Uh, yeah, it's a bit of a thing. A bit of a the greens tend to be faster because we can't really afford to what have green keepers in Perth. Well, because there's no but, water, mate. No, nah, <laughs> it's not about water. We don't have the pokies and the revenue yeah. as they do over this side of the the country. So we're a bit more limited to what we can afford. I, I yeah. have to point out to you though, like Warrilla uh, is probably not your typical club. But not all, not all clubs on this side of the uh, the country are oh, four I, greens and the footprint of this place. I have realised realised that I've been to a fair few, but even like just simple things like we don't have Keno, we don't have we just got like little club houses. Most clubs have three. I think our biggest club might have five greens. I was just looking at Sorrento, Junalup, and um, and Warwick, just because that's where the nationals being played. That's yeah. uh, three clubs of four greens each. Four green. Uh, Sorrento have five. Five greens, yeah. Sorrento have five. Joondalup have four. And Warwick have four. My, I think, uh, I think they got one plastic at Warwick, though. Very few. Yeah, one plastic, yeah. yeah. Very few clubs in New South Wales now with four greens. Yeah. Um, Do you have many with five? No, none. None. This one? No, no five greens here. One, two, three, one, two, three four. four. Five. Where's the fourth one? Is there not four here? Three. I thought there were four. No, I thought there were four. My apologies. We're sitting where the fourth one used to be. Oh. 
Yeah, there's I think three three grass in the indoor. Soon to be, well, sometime in the next couple of years, there'll be a covered synthetic where we're looking at now. I think we have two clubs in Perth with five greens. Sorrento and Aussie Park. Yeah, Aussie Park's right. Aussie I've Park. played at Aussie Park. Yeah, there's five there. It's good. Like That's a great club. Three ball. levels. Yeah, it's I probably one club. of our bigger clubs. They do a kitchen and it's just quite a nice club there. Yeah, it's a good club. It's near where my uncle lives there. Ed Along currently has Mountain four greens. Um, Tarrant Point has three and a half. Oh, look at that little one. Yeah, yeah the little one. Um, Yamba's got three and a half, sort of. There are 24 rinks available. Figgy's yeah. got three and a half. There's yeah. a big grey cloud coming over the top here. I don't know if you can see that. Ooh. Down to the south. Yeah, it's probably one we need to worry about. That's got a bit of moisture in. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, if the weather comes up from the south from in this area, it's uh, unattractive. Is the unattractive. Thing for. But oh yeah, there's a bit of a cell making its way up from Kyra. It's sort of blowing itself out though. By the looks of that, that is coming directly over us. I'm no weather expert, but that's coming here. What's well, it? The, the the direction of the. <laughs> I'm just pulling out the radar now. Well, it's being a bit slow because I've got some other program open, but uh, when it catches up. Right. It is sort of coming this way, but. We'll see. The Bureau sort of says now. we're not going to get a lot out of it, which is also worrying. Oh, Kaz Rhodes is abandoning his scale and watch Collingwood. Now, <laughs> I can't I can't advocate for that, Kaz. Uh, Joe Fields, or better known as Owen. You skip it a good game there, champ, but you had a pretty awesome lead for you, mate. That was good. $10 entry for a $15 uh, seafood voucher. Nice. It was it was good. One of my more memorable games. <laughs> oh, I love you, Joel. Great shot. Good Look at shot that here. Straight through. One to Victorians after they were down a couple. <laughs> and Kaz Road saying she's got to go and watch the pies, mate. You put us on a tablet and sit this next to you. We'll be fine. <laughs> hello. Oh, hello, Tim. Faye Winther. How are you? I'll make sure I look after Ben up here, okay? <laughs> oh, there he goes. <sighs> I accidentally hit her with a jack in the Vic Open. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Faye. <Oops. laughs> Oh dear! So face, uh, sorry, Faye Winters just jumped in. Collingwood's down twenty-one. Kaz, don't go yet. This <laughs> more to the point. But watching now is, oh, what's he got here? First shot was a ripper. Jack's moved again. Nice to hurry. The... Yeah, not there. Lovely line. So I'm going to look up again. Thirty-two forty-one, and that's exactly the same thing. What I said before. Every time I look up. New South Wales ladies have scored one, and the Victorians have scored three. Every single time I look up at the moment, so 41-32. They've still got a fair few ends to go, so yeah. they, it's, it's not over. You know, the ladies are a bit... They started before the men, and they've, um, <laughs> they're nine ends behind on the big board now. Ten. How many ends do they play overall? They're playing 54, 54. in this test. 18 per ring. So the, the men are... Thick men are 9... 10 behind? 10 behind? 7 to go. 7 to go. Yep. 6, six, to, go. six to go. That's a, that, That'll be a big ask, I reckon. You're above the 1.5. Junior's run rate theory. The run rate, yep. A little bit of wind just kicking up now. I don't know if you can hear it over the microphone. Yeah, well, it's, it's chilly. It feels like a southerly. And if that's a southerly, we need to get ready to bail. I think the rain just started. 
just watching the reactions of the people around the <laughs> around the uh, ground here. And what we need to watch is that's not going to blow in under here on our electrical gear. I'm more worried about myself. <laughs> no, I'm watching uh, <laughs> watching your screen actually. It's <laughs> <laughs> teetering a bit. Necessarily designed for outdoor outdoor activities, these things. But yeah, I'm getting some spots on me now from behind. You're talking about the equipment or the commentators? Yes. <laughs> uh, oh, is he trying to put a blocker in? He might have been. Yeah, I don't know if he, he certainly didn't get it. Lee Schreiner, yep, he's called it. He's going to run through a little. It's got that look. quick but is it it's not going to come around at all the plant works oh well Matty Flapper did end up putting that uh that blocker in <laughs> so when he hit probably not where he wanted but uh, he <laughs> but did, it worked Lee did touch it oh that blocks that gap up Oh, that was the last ball. Not sure what Tyson yeah. is doing. So, one to Victoria. Or was it two? 18-16 on 17. Last end. 16. So, that was three. I only saw one. There you go. So seven ends, excuse me, seven shots in it after uh, 49 ends. Just looking around now, some scores are getting updated. Aaron Wilson, 22-17. I'm just wondering if Butters knows something 18. you don't there. He's got 51-42 uh, after 50 on his 11, 9, big board 15. there. So I don't think the guys on Twisty's team are um, updating the scoreboard very often. That's the impression I'm getting there. Well, the middle ring's finished on 22-17. It's 11-9 after 15, and we're on our last. So, yeah, uh, four ins to go. Yep, that adds up. 51-42. I think Twisty's got this one and yep. one more to go. Oh, two more, three more. He's got three, and there's one left on this ring. So the question is whether we'll be able to stay on streaming. It is not the rink next to ours that's gone so I'm not sure we'll be able to get much coverage and looking at the weather we might need to run and get everything inside so we will make a call when we play the last end but there's 10 shots the difference with uh, 2 to play oh, there we are. it's just been updated 12-9 on 16 so goodness me <laughs> so we uh, look if we if the Blues win this one it's Pretty safe. So, sorry, just Lee Stinson came up to give me heaps because he's a bomber supporter, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> he's pretty excited at the moment. He makes bad choices. He supports bombers in Canberra. <laughs> oh, yep. Peter Taylor sat that out. It's one to Blues now. And that big grey cloud is pretty much right over the top of us. Yeah, it's dissipating. Nothing much coming out of it. The radar was actually, uh, prediction was pretty pretty close. Yeah, well, it's, I'm really surprised by that. That looked like death. <laughs> to yeah, me. we might we <laughs> might end up with a bit out of it this tonight, though. I might bid you guys a farewell. I've got to go to my cabin and drop my clothes and stuff off before I get wet. Indeed, and uh, go and get fitted out for your uniform too, buddy. Thanks so much for joining Thank us, Thank you for having me, boys. One of our... Uh, Australia's yeah, best bowlers, and we're glad you're here, mate, and, uh, and enjoy yourself. Good luck in UBC. Thanks, boys. Go the Eagles. Catch up. So we're playing the last end of uh, our streaming match. Yeah, we might uh, have to run off pretty quick, mate, and rescue those cameras, because there is rain, rain in behind that. I'm just looking at it now, so... Uh, it feels damp. Yeah. 
it feels damp. But nice of Blake Nairn to join us. He's a he's one of the good guys at bowls, and I have to, can't thank him enough. So that's that's oh, a pretty good shot. That's, that's a good result. Now, yeah. Now, so no update. No, oh, there's an update on ends on the on the ladies. That's forty-seven. Yep. That's four shots. The difference. Yeah, oh, she's just updated that too. Yep, 37. So New South Wales getting a bit of a run on there, which is good news. 37-41, or well, good news for the New South Wales fans, of course. All right, bowsy has got rid of one of the Vic shots. I just wonder whether the Blues will consider playing the other hand, trying to thread that needle. Just roll Daniel Hills onto the yellow and stay. The Vic's trying to pot the jack because it's all them behind there. I think he's getting to ask, asked to, to yep. beat him to it. Well, no, he's going to have a go on the backhand because he can get that bowl onto the shot and stay. Wants to be underneath that. He's around it. Oh, he's, well, he's, he's going to pop into the jack. Got rid of one of the backwards. Yeah, one, one of the Vicks. But it's still two to Victoria behind the head there. Well, two purples. One's one, underneath the one uh, women's scoreboard. So to interrupt there mate but just to jump in one more end added to the uh, ladies rink. Six to go one the diff. 40 to 41 and the Vicks, they were more than 10 ahead they were a long way ahead 10 yeah. 10 minutes ago all of a sudden that's the shifty momentum has happened I'm, we can't see from here because it's a bit far away what drove it but uh, it's pretty amazing and that was Daniel Hill's bowl came up mm -hmm. I wonder if Lee might still be tempted to play that hand. Might go just over the draw backhand, just try and turn either one. It looks like the backhand is being played. Wants to get under the front two. Well, good weight. He'll come around and cover those two anyway, so. Vicks need to score, so whether or not Matty Flapper's going to take a bit of a risk. And I can tell you that breeze is getting it's chilly. very chilly. Matty Flapper is going for it, and he's got, well. the, he's got the result that Matty Bouse was after. Lee Schreiner just had a look at the big board. Now that, they're all shaking hands at the back, but I think there's a Lee's got up his draw. I don't think he'll be doing anything too attacking here. He'll be just trying to dead draw around those bowls. He's and, going under. Well, it's good enough. That'll well. be two. Two it is. Two to, to the two Blues. Two to New South Wales to finish. That'll take the lead for New South Wales out to a dozen shots with uh, just a couple of ends to go. So we will bid you farewell. Um, we do need to rescue our cameras, otherwise we might have hung around a bit more. It is going to get wet soon. Yep. Uh, so it's a wonderful good evening from Marilla for today. We'll be back tomorrow morning. We've got supposed to have a very early start. Yep. The Vicks have got an early flight, so... Uh, test is supposed to get underway at 8am So Benny and I will be here about 7 Setting up <laughs> uh, But uh, it's been wonderful to bring it to you Thanks Ben for joining us today Thanks and Andrew, we'll, thanks to Blake of course And we look forward to your company again tomorrow But for now it's uh, goodbye